so we're back again with now another NBA 2K18 My Team pack opening and I'm so excited to do this one and usually it's for the players that are actually in the collection but for the first time this year it's actually a pink diamond reward and it's none other than pink diamond Kevin Garnett. So this is a player I really do want to get on the squad and there actually are some really good diamonds too including Carl Anthony Towns, Paul Pierce, Joe Johnson and Rajon Rondo. And the packs have been out for about 10 minutes and you can see there's quite a few diamonds up so hopefully we can pull one. As I'm pretty confident I will get Kevin Garnett so anything we pull will make it a lot cheaper and let's open up our first 21 pack box. You can see I do have a lot of VC and the oh, top of first okay um that's really not the best start like getting a ruby top up. It's okay though. What I was saying though is the reason I have so much VC as we get another ruby there is because it was half price in Australia. So of course I had to stock up and I probably won't buy any more VC until the end of the year. I don't even know if I will buy any more because a lot of people think 2k give me VC and although I wish they did, obviously I buy it with my own money. As we've just got three rubies and they're just all the same dude. So let's hope we can get something good in this one. Obviously not. The Kevin Garnett stats look insane too. I'm so hoping I'll be able to get him as we do get an emerald in this one but emeralds really mean nothing we got josh hart in that pack though and he's one of my favorite players in the nba and this pack just silvers and bronzes really not the best and these promo packs are still giving out players that are moments players which is still a little bit disappointing because i know i definitely preferred it in the past when you would open up these packs and when you get that good flash you knew it was from the collection but now in these packs you could get a diamond flash and it could be bradley bill which goes to like 16k which is really not too good as bro these packs have been so bad for me. That's my fourth ruby, but like rubies always pop out of this like crazy. We get the goat though. And I'm ready for your jokes. I know he sort of looks like me if I didn't have my beard. And we do get another ruby there. Is it going to be Scal again? No, it's Wally's. Um, I, I don't know how to say his name. Before I started this video, I did know how to say his name, but I just forgot just then. But that's all right though. Just getting bronzes and silvers once again. I say it every time, but I always really want a good pull for one, for me to get the good pull, but also for a good video. Because I I know it's pretty annoying to watch like an 11 minute pack opening and see the the creator get nothing there we go sometimes i talk and have no idea where i'm going with the sentence and that's what happens when i sort of stutter at the end as we're just getting rubies in this one and yep, that Trenton Hassel, I think that's how you say his name, has two Hall of Fame defensive badges, but the rest of the stats on it don't look too good. As bro, this box has been so bad. Maybe at the end of the box, it's going to be a little bit better. Definitely not this pack. Um, maybe pack number 18, we're getting a ruby. I haven't even got anything above a ruby, which is definitely not the best as we're getting an emerald in this one, but who really cares for emeralds at this time of the year? And this is the final pack of this box. Can you believe it? This has been so bad and it's ending off like pretty, pretty bad as well. And I think since I've opened up that last box, the amount of diamonds of this collection that are on the auction house has doubled. So I'm hoping the pack odds have got a little bit better because that first box, absolutely terrible. Like I knew it was going to be bad when the first card I got was from my topper and it was a ruby. I was about to say a gold because I saw a gold on my screen, but gold is an okay start. I'll take it. It was Rondé Hollis Jefferson and this one's going to be a mind shumper. Getting back to back moments players and we get a sapphire there. It's probably another moments player. It's rare to be a current day. It's DeJounte Murray. I think he's actually one of the newer ones. So hopefully he goes for like over 1000 MT. I'm not too sure. I'm just really trying to look at the positives of this pack opening right now that so far I've probably made like 15,000 MT, but I always say it, it can change in one pack. If I'm able to get it like Diamond Paul Pierce or something like that, it's just 100% change. As it seems like right now, I'm just opening up moments packs because that's really all I'm getting. And this one, another Emerald, will it be a moments player? The answer is no, it's Andrew Wiggins. And he actually has an Amethyst that's in these packs and I really want that card because it looks like a beast. Another Emerald in this one and that's Nikola Vucevic. This is just so annoying going through and getting the Ruby there, but like, no one really wants to see rubies. So yeah, I don't really know what to say, but this pack up, a gold, and uh, I, I'm not feeling confident. I was actually really excited to open up these packs too, because I was just thinking I could maybe get that pink diamond KG like really soon if I was able to get some good pulls. And there are quite a few of the diamonds up, but I don't know. My packs are just not looking good at all. I'm feeling this pack might be... Okay, it's a little bit better. We do get a ruby. I was saying that it's going to be a little bit better. It was KG. We finally got him. I was actually about to say I was really surprised that we didn't get the ruby Kevin Garnett. But this pack up, we're getting another Sapphire. Who's it going to be? It's a coach. A topper. And we get an Amethyst. Okay, I'm not complaining with that. I just wanted something 
that shakes. And we finally got something that shakes quite a bit. I'm hoping for Andrew Wiggins. I think that'll be the best one. And uh, who is it? It is Sam Cassell. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not really complaining about that. It's an Amethyst player. I'll take it from the top up. Is that the start of the packs just starting to heat up? I hope so, as we do get another Ruby there. As I said, rubies really don't go for much at all. Like, I'll be surprised if I'm able to sell the rubies for over 700 MT. That's how much I'm thinking as this pack is just trash. And we're coming to the end of the box and we get another sapphire there. So many sapphires in this one, which is really surprising. Come on, we're going to have to come clutch in this pack opening. And I don't think I've ever come clutch when I've actually said it. As we got Carl Anthony Towns there and he actually does have a diamond 97 overall in these packs. But we're not looking like we're going to get it. The final pack of this pack opening. You got this. I believe in you. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go. Okay. Um, I'm really not confident now. Go to the right. And uh, this really wasn't a good pack opening. And let's have a little search right now. Diamond, KG teammates. Let's see how... Dude, there's so... Well, that's not, that's not so many. It's quite a lot though. And I'm a little bit disappointed in two boxes. I legit only pulled one Amethyst. Like, look, if I go premium collections, number two... This is all I got from my whole packs. And I'm going to try and sell my Sam Cassell just before his price does go down. But I know, to be honest, the more I look at it, the more disappointed I am that I wasn't able to pull one of these players. My luck really hasn't been the best so far. I didn't pull any diamonds this week. I only pulled Elgin Baylor last week. Pulled none out of clutch closes and none out of prime time. But not going to lie, the All-Star Weekend one was pretty nice. I did end up pulling that Vince. But my packs definitely have been pretty dry recently. So I don't know. Hopefully they can get better soon. And also, if you watched my last video and then watched this video, you would have seen my MT went down quite a bit. And I'm just going to show you guys real quick what I did. We're going to the lineups. Look at the player I picked up. Pink Diamond Magic Johnson. And to be honest, I had no intentions on getting him. But then I saw him up for 1.4 mil. Ended up putting a bid on him for 1.6 and got him for 1.6 mil. And look already. This one here, seven hours to go, is selling for 2.4 million MT. So from getting Magic for 1.6 million MT, I pretty much just made like 800k just like that. But I'm also excited because you guys will definitely see a gameplay with this card. And I'm pretty confident you're going to see a gameplay with the Pink Diamond Camera Garnet too because I want to get him. But let me know out of all the other players who you want to see first because I'm feeling Paul Pierce might be the best option. But also Carl Anthony Towns might be up there. So just let me know in the comment section down below. And I mean, the question now is, do I recommend you guys open in these packs my straight up answer is no that was so bad and that's pretty much all i've seen on twitter is people talking about how bad these packs were i thought they were going to be a little bit better but i ended up being disappointed but at least i was able to get a video out and show you guys how the packs were looking so yeah make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed also be sure to subscribe if you're new as those gameplays with those players will be coming out pretty soon so be on the lookout for that thanks guys for watching i'm doing so much with my hands right now but i don't know i'll catch you in the next video bye